presentation of the WUSA and Turner Sports. This week on Inside WUSA Soccer, double your pleasure with the twins of the WUSA. Julie Fowdy plays for San Diego. Her husband Ian Sawyers coaches Bay Area. It's love and marriage, soccer style. Kim Pickup gives us info on the flip throw. And Boston's Dogney Melgren is good as gold. It's all next on Inside WUSA Soccer. Welcome to Inside WSA Soccer. She is World Cup veteran Wendy Gebauer, and I'm John Paul Della Camera. We've got an entertaining half hour ahead filled with family matters from a West Coast WSA power couple to the great eight. Four sets of twins competing in the league. But before we see double, we look at teams with a single goal in mind, and that's getting to the top of the table. Wendy, how about Thursday night's matchup, a classic one between Atlanta's stingy defense and Philadelphia's potent offense? Well, to date, Philly has been very potent on the attack, but what showed up was a very potent Atlanta attack. Um, Parlow and Hooper were on fire. Now let's take a look at the highlights. The Atlanta beat is visiting Philadelphia. And early in the game, in the first two minutes, Parlow's working some magic here. The ball drops 30-plus yards out. Molly off of her right foot into the back of the net. Weber didn't have a chance. And in the 40th minute, a free kick for Atlanta. Marcy Miller gets up, heads it off the post, goes in off the back of Saskia Weber's arms. It's 2-0, Atlanta beat, and Atlanta hands Philly their first loss of the season. JP, they're tied at the top now in points. And Philadelphia, after a surprisingly good start, hit a bump in the road at home. Well, they've been so great up to this point in the season, but I think what's happening is maybe their injuries are starting to catch up with them. Yeah. Kelly Smith, their front runner, um, great goal scorer. She's out with a fracture. And then the Nets, Melissa Moore, who got the first shutout for Philly beginning of the season, is also out with a fracture. And um, I think we're seeing some inconsistencies in Saskia Weber's game. Well, the next stop for Philadelphia is Boston. The Breakers and Christine Lilly welcome Lori Fair in the charge as we kick off our CNN SI schedule. Join Wendy and me for all the action Sunday at 6 Eastern. Later today, a battle of World Cup co-captains, Julie Foudy and the Spirit, meet Carla Overbeck's Carolina Courage. Kick off at noon Eastern on TNT. And we'll spend some time with Julie Foudy and her husband Ian Sawyers later in the program. But next, we'll meet a sister act times four. It's fun and games with the WSA Twins when we return on Inside WSA Soccer. Inside WUSA Soccer is brought to you by AccuView brand contact lenses, advancing the science of sight. And by Hyundai. Hyundai is proud to be a charter sponsor of the WUSA. Hyundai is backed by the freedom of America's best warranty, the Hyundai Advantage. Sonata from Hyundai with the freedom of America's best warranty plan. 10 years without a care in the world. For a limited time, get the Sonata with automatic transmission at no extra charge. If you thought 2020 vision was perfect, ask your eye care professional about the AccuView 2 contact lens. 7 out of 10 who wear it see better than 2020. Advancing the science of sight. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. Introducing Venus from Gillette, the first razor designed to make you feel like a goddess. Protective cushions surround three blades for the closest shave ever in just one stroke. So close, your skin stays smoother longer. And that's something all goddesses are entitled to. Now, individually sealed blades are easy to store, easy to change. Venus, reveal the goddess in you. If you have astigmatism, you may think you're restricted to wearing glasses. Introducing AccuView Toric contact lenses for astigmatism. AccuView is scientifically balanced, fitting the unique shape of your eye. AccuView, advancing the science of sight. 
Welcome back to Inside WSA Soccer. Let's share more highlights from last week. Washington Freedom at the Carolina Courage. Who's in the house? Marion Jones taking part in some pregame festivities. First half, it was all Washington. Here's a goal on our clear view from AccuView. Watch the ball cut back by Michelle French. Pratini is there. The league's leading goal scorer gets her fourth of the season. Washington is up by one. Then off the end swinger. Look at the traffic in front. Amanda Cromwell will find this loose ball, knocks it in. Things were looking pretty bleak at that point for Carolina. A 2-0 lead for Washington. They take that lead into the locker room at halftime. Something changes in the second half. Mika Hansen's goal will give Carolina some life. That one comes about four minutes into the start of the second half. And then disaster for Washington. Skyler Little called for that intentional handball inside the box. That means it's a penalty kick. International star Hegarisa from Norway already with a couple of assists this year, but no goals. Drills it perfectly. Siri Mullins couldn't get to that ball. Carolina fights back, and they get a 2-2 draw out of it. And with a point in hand, Carolina now tries to earn their first win. They'll be playing at home, taking on the San Diego Spirit today at noon Eastern on TNT. And I know, Wendy, it's not a win. It's only a draw, but certainly something positive finally for Carolina. Well, definitely, JP, and no pun on Carolina Courage's team name, but they came out with a lot of courage. Down 2-0 at half, that's not easy for any team mm -hmm. to do. They came out, got a quick goal, got a ton of confidence. Now the key is will this momentum carry in today's match yeah. against San Diego? We'll see how they do today. Well, when you look at the faces of the WSA, you might do a double take or four. That's because there are four sets of twins playing in the league. Julie and Nancy Augustiniak both play for hometown Atlanta. The other six twins, the Fairs, the Littles, and the Tejans, are split up among five other teams, offering a chance for some serious family competition. But when we met all eight twins, it was only serious fun. Light, dusty, balmy weather. We're lucky we're together. We're a pair remarkably made. People swear we must be related. We can't bear to be separated. I feel like it's your best friend, the person who you spent your life with. You better have some sort of an understanding or connection. Um, and, you know, the fact that we were once the same egg. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I know by her body language whether she's happy or sad when she comes up to me. And um, we just, there's a connection that not a lot of other siblings understand that uh, it's hard to describe. My mom said that when we were growing up, when we were little, that we had our own language. And um, I still think that's how it is because we'll finish each other's sentences, we're always thinking the same thing without saying anything. Um, we're each other's best friends. <laughs> I mean, there's there's been times where, you know, it's just so happened like she does a blind pass and I'm right there and you hear all the fans like, oh my God, it's like she knows she's going to be there. It's just, you know. <laughs> I don't know so much feel the presence, but I know. You can't feel my presence? <laughs> I know where she's gonna be. Like we know each other's expectations, so I'm thinking, okay, if I have the ball, and I'm thinking, Ronnie's gonna run to my left because she thinks like I do, and if I were her, I'd run there, you know. <laughs> so pass the ball and hope that she's there. <laughs> so it's more of just a twin thing, you know. You live with each other, you room, you know, you sleep in the same room together, and you just know what each other's likes and dislikes and stuff like that, and you can read each other's mind. And I think like our body types, our athleticism. It's, I mean, that comes from our genes, obviously, but um, our understanding of the game probably, I would say, that has to do with our environment, how we were trained when we were younger. Soccer is just very much of a team sport, and I think twins, or the majority of them, are used to working as a team with the other twin. So they're good in the team. They're good in the team environment and team aspects. And I mean, for us, that's why I play. We share everything. When the twin powers activate. Yes, sir. I am me, she is she, except when I pretend I'm her. And when we switch, you can't tell which is which. She didn't like to trick people, because I wouldn't take good notes for her, so she never switched classes. <laughs> her little girl and like her father came up to me, and her father said, are you the sister of Lori Fair? <laughs> and I looked at him, and I was like, formerly known as Ronnie Fair? <laughs> yeah. Um, but... And little things happen like that, but it's kind of like, I don't know, I'm just sort of used to it because obviously, you know, she um, was, you know, she's kind of a star, you know, like she's one of the allocated players. She's a World Cup player. She's an Olympic player. Um, a lot of people know her a lot better than know me, but at the same time, like, I don't know, it doesn't really bother me that much. 
This is what it's like when we play against each other. Wow! <laughs> no, if we ever get near each other, it's like shirt pulling, elbow throwing. Um, I always whatever it takes. <laughs> whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to beat this other person to the ground. No, it, it's more like I want. If my team plays her team, I would want us to win and her to have the game of her life. <laughs> It's gonna be tough not to crack a smile when I know, when she comes on me. <laughs> She's usually a feisty player. When I watch her play, she does things that she doesn't usually, she wouldn't do if I was playing against her. If I was the defender, she wouldn't do put something. in an extra yeah. little elbow at the end of the play, mm -hmm. even if the ball's not near or stuff like that. <laughs> To compete against each other because we're on the same team. So Thank we can play with each other. Thank goodness. Woo. Good stuff. Learn more about the Super Sisters and all the rest of your WSA favorites by logging on to WUSA.com. Still to come on Inside WSA Soccer, Kim Pickup goes over the flip throw for us. And on our next wave is this breaker, Boston's Dogney Melgren shares a golden memory when we come back. Our kids. Band-Aid brand advanced healing. Clinically proven to heal faster than ordinary bandages, it acts like an instant scab, sealing in the body's fluids so wounds heal faster. Band-Aid brand advanced healing. Air. It's in the air. Carefree, breathable panty liners keep you fresh and dry. They're the only ones with air spun, a unique layer that lets air through. Every day, be fresh. Be carefree. Big game tomorrow, Carla. Better get some rest. Yeah, I really need to sleep, man. I'll see you on the field. Cool. See you tomorrow. Witness a shocking transformation as former teammates become opponents. Hi. Good evening. Carla Overbeck would like a wake-up call for 3 a.m. Thank you. Better get your beauty sleep. WUSA Women's Professional Soccer. Kids today are too soft. Mom cleaned our cuts with soap and water. No, no, no. Now Band-Aid Brand introduces her free antiseptic wash with lidocaine to relieve the pain. Uh, Where's the sport in that? New Band-Aid Brand Hurt Free Antiseptic Wash. Today at halftime, check out the Hyundai Halftime Kick, a chance for fans to step on the field and shoot for cash and prizes. Who makes it? Find out today on Hyundai Halftime Kick. More highlights. Last week, the New York Power were on the road against the San Diego Spirit. A couple of solid goalkeepers on display, but the San Diego goalkeeper was much busier. That's Pagliarulo making one of her many saves early on. Katie Tracy tries to beat it. Pagliarulo says no, tips it over the bar. Then moments before halftime, the Spirit defense gets caught napping. Some pretty good ball work inside. New York Power will send Tammy Pierman through for the game's first goal. Turns out to be the only goal. Later, Pierman nearly scores again. Watch this shot. Pagliarulo, great save. Full extension. Seven saves for the native of Hershey, Pennsylvania. But Pierman's goal is the difference. New York edges San Diego one to nothing. It takes a special player to fire the crowd up on a throw-in. But San Diego's Kim Pickup has got a special play, an acrobatic restart called the pick flip. I've been doing gymnastics since I was five, and when I was 10 years old, I was on this club team, and my friend Joy Berry, a boy had taught her how to do it, and she was doing it, and she, like, whenever I had, like, a moment, I'd be flipping around. I was just a wild child, and she's like, I have to teach you this throwing because, I mean, you're in gymnastics, and you're just really hyper, and you have a lot of energy, so she thought I'd learn it really quick, so she showed me at one practice, and 
ever since then I learned it after trying maybe three times and ever since then I've been doing it and not until college did I really perfect it and with the building of strength you know we wait we weight lift and do conditioning so now I have the strength to get the distance and actually hit the target. Then Kim pick up the flip throw and coming up here. Before when I first started doing it it would just go wherever it landed like the team had to get there and now like I'll aim for a target on our team like I look to find Shannon Box because I have more control over where I'm going to put it and I just try to aim it and direct it rather than loft it because it's easier for them to deal with. Wendy, what about the legalities of this particular flip throw? Well, JP, we have to leave the legalities up to the referee's assistant to make that call on the sidelines, but I can state the rule for you, and what the rule states is that part, any part of both feet have to be touching the sideline. So, for instance, if I'm taking the throw in and my feet enter into the field of play, and we'll take a look here, and we'll see the right foot here for Kim Pickup enters into the field of play, but her heel is touching the line, that's a legal throw. So that's not a problem there because she had contact with the sideline. And here we'll take another look. Now this is a tougher angle to see because you can definitely see both feet on the field of play, but what the referee's assistant determined was that her heels were touching the line, which makes it a legal throw. Now this is very, very controversial because it ended up being a goal for San Diego uh, to tie Atlanta, and um, it's been a big weapon for them. Now in your long and illustrious career, how many times did you try that flip throw? A big zero. Zero? <laughs> Uh, Why? Well, I mean, JP, come on, would you try that? No, I wouldn't. Throw? No, not me, no. Uh, I wasn't no. much of a gymnast as a child. I tried it, but it was, was terrible. We'll uh, leave that to Kim, though. And that's right. Yeah. You know, I basically, I just tried to get on the other end of those throws. Kim does it well. Now we'll look at the next wave. Young players making their mark in the WSA. Boston's Dogney Melgren is only 22, but she's already starred on the world stage. At last year's Olympics, her golden goal earned gold medals for Norway and a cherished memory for Melgren. Hey, my name is Dagny Melgren. I'm from Norway and I play for Boston Breakers. The ball into the penalty box, the rebound, the shot, goal! I remember I got a long ball from Hager Rizal and I was trying to reach it, to head it. And I think it was Fawcett was behind me and she headed into me. And the next thing I saw it was the ball was in front of me and I just kicked it and go. <laughs> I remember I saw the tape and, and he hit my whole arm, but um, it's, it's the game and uh, it's a tough call for a three referee, so a goal is a goal. It, it was like a dream. You, you, is it true? Is it real? Is, is this me? Like, is this my medal? Like, when I watching it hanging on my wall in Norway, like, God. This is mine. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's to be the um, Olympic champion, it's, and it's your for, forever. Melgren and the rest of the Breakers take on Philadelphia in our Sunday night debut on CNN SI. Coming up, Julie Foudy and Ian Sawyers, husband and wife, and WUSA rivals. Tracy. I'm at Phoenix. We all play together. We have fun together. He's the coolest. My nickname is Bigfoot. Goalie Queen. They call me Bulldog because I'm really aggressive. Soccer makes me feel pumped up. It gets you stronger. It makes me feel great. Soccer's my one faster than anyone. I could play forever. When you have an ailment, different doctors might recommend different treatments. But for women suffering with yeast infections, the number one recommendation of doctors is specific. Monistat. Monistat starts working immediately to relieve the awful burning and itching, and it provides an effective cure. Sure, doctors have many brands of yeast infection medicine to choose from, but Monistat is their number one choice. Monistat, the number one doctor-recommended brand.
of the wonderful things about soccer is the way it brings people together. Think how many friendships and relationships have started with a shared passion for the game. Sometimes it even brings together husband and wife, something my husband and I can relate to. Hey, Dino. It also brought together Ian Sawyers and Julie Faldi, but in the WUSA, they are rivals. He coaches Bay Area, she captains San Diego. Call them the WUSA's power couple, or just call them Ian and Julie. Yes. We've had a long distance relationship for a long time, and so um, we had to, to make sure we, you know, we worked at it and spent the time and the effort, and, um, but always knew, you know, from the very beginning that this was, uh, this was so right. For these two lovebirds, living in different cities is common, but what about competing against each other? <laughs> Pretty competitive on the basketball court. <laughs> I still got the scratch marks from my last game. We are very competitive. I, I, um, we, I do a lot of basketball for my cross training, so I drag poor Ian out, and, and uh, we almost get in fights over the basketball court. You do. <laughs> I'm just making jump shots, and you just... We used to play home. soccer together, too, when he was fit. Not anymore. No, that one doesn't work anymore. <laughs> All is fair in love and war, but what about love and soccer? San Diego takes on the Bay Area on June 2nd for the first time, and coach takes on player. It'll be like game face. I tried to get him to talk in his sleep at night, but it's not happening. <laughs> I know her tendencies, um, same as all the other people who scout her do. Um, her left foot is brilliant, he knows that. <laughs> I know how good a left foot is. Get in. Uh, no left peg. What's up with the left side, Jules? Use the left foot. I know how good she is in transition defense. And <laughs> I know all that good stuff. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Stop sharing all my strengths. <laughs> Whose team is better, huh? I I'm not known to talk trash, <laughs> but um, we've looked really good lately. <laughs> Obviously, they're loaded with talent. If they don't run away with the league, there's something wrong with their leadership. <laughs> so. That was so good. That was a good answer. You must have had media training. <laughs> no, I just try to get a word in. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like at home. <laughs> After six years of marriage, Ian and Julie know each other's strengths as well as their weaknesses. Very detailed, like to see things that um, a majority of coaches don't see, you know, and points things out to me that are like subtleties and nuances of the game. She's obviously one of the, the greatest leaders that, that we've seen in women's sports. Um, you know, she, she's one of those very unique leaders where she leads by both example and by encouragement. She's a very versatile player and can dominate on both ends of the game. He's a very passionate person, which is what I love about him. Her love and affection, you know, not just for me. I mean, that's, you know, that's a given within our relationship, but to her teammates. And she's willing to fight for, you know, the very last player on the salary uh, cap situation. You know, she's not fighting for her own superstar kind of teammates who've made it up to the top. She's fighting for the the people who are trying to make it, who are just starting their journey. So there's a lot of love and affection in everything that she does. It's very special. So far, Julie narrowly leads Ian in the WSA standings, but both West Coast teams are looking to improve on their single victories. Carolina is still looking for their first win. Maybe it comes today. Captain Fowdy and Shannon McMillan show their spirit against Hegarisa and the Carolina Courage. That comes up today on TNT kickoff at noon Eastern. Inside WUSA Soccer is brought to you by Venus from Gillette for Women. Reveal the goddess in you. And by Aramax, the official laundry detergent of the WUSA and active women everywhere. Introducing a new professional soccer league starring Julie Foudy and Tiffany Milbert. Former teammates turned opponents. A heartwarming tale of friendship and dignity. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tiffany Milbert. <laughs> Tiffany Milbert who? Exactly. Ladies, WUSA Women's Professional Soccer. Stay Free introduces the only Maxi with four-wall protection and a unique anti-leak core. 
The new Stay Free Maxi. It fights leaks to the core. Stay Free's remarkable leak protection, now in a brand new Maxi. If you have astigmatism, you may think you're restricted to wearing glasses. Introducing AccuView Touring contact lenses for astigmatism. AccuView is scientifically balanced, fitting the unique shape of your eye. AccuView, advancing the science of sight. The raindrops keep falling on my head. But that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. The Sonata from Hyundai, with the freedom of America's best warranty plan, 10 years without a care in the world. For a limited time, get the Sonata with automatic transmission at no extra charge. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. Introducing Venus from Gillette, the first razor designed to make you feel like a goddess. Protective cushions surround three blades for the closest shave ever in just one stroke. So close, your skin stays smoother, longer. And that's something all goddesses are entitled to. Now, individually sealed blades are easy to store, easy to change. Venus, reveal the goddess in you. Kids today are too soft. Mom cleaned our cuts with soap and water. No, no, no. Now Band-Aid brand introduces her free antiseptic wash with lidocaine to relieve the pain. Uh, Where's the sport net? New Band-Aid brand hurt free antiseptic wash. This Sunday, high-scoring Philadelphia charges into Boston to meet Christine Lilly and the Breakers. June 3rd, Tiffany Milbert leads New York's offense against Tracy Ducar and Boston's defense. June 10th, Bay Area CC works her magic against New York's world-class goalkeeper Gao Hong. June 17th, the Fair Twins, Lori of Philly and Ronnie of New York battle for bragging rights. June 24th, a California contest pits Brandi Chastain and Bay Area against Julie Foudy and San Diego. Follow the WUSA on Sunday nights on CNN SI. CNN SI will have WUSA action on Sunday nights this summer, so we'll be taking a break from inside WUSA soccer until the playoff push in August when the games return to TNT. Well, Wendy, so far the season's gone off to a pretty solid start. What are your thoughts on it? Well, in my opinion, every game has been better than the last. It's been very exciting and a ton of fun so far. Uh, offenses are coming together. We're seeing defenses come together. And we're seeing a unique personality develop for each team. Like you, I look forward to the rest of the WSA campaign. For Wendy Gebauer, I'm John Paul Della Camera. We hope to see you all summer long on all the CNN SI matches and also on WSA.com. We leave you today with a look at some of the great moments from an exciting inaugural season in the WSA. Thanks for watching.